All right, guys, welcome to Catapult Carnage. I'm Chris. I'm just on my way to a local farm where they have a rat problem. I've got two dogs with me, a ferret, several slingshots, loads of ball bearings, and I'm ready to kill some rats. Stick with us, let's see what happens. So this particular farm is a beef farm and as you can see there's a quite a severe number of rats. You'll see them start to emerge now from in below one of those slabs. And they're eating a lot of the cattle's meal. They're obviously not not a nice vermin species to have around a farm, so me and Paul were tasked with trying to decrease these numbers a small bit. Let's see what happens. Got one! So the farmer's just coming now with the forklift to lift one of these slabs and as you can imagine the rats are going to make a mad dash in all different directions to get away. But my two dogs, there's Paul's big lurcher Rush. It's the first time they've all met, they're just getting used to each other so they don't fight too much over the rats. And Paul's going to take the other side. Now, this all gets a bit hectic here, so I'll stop voiceover, let's see what happens. Right, so as you can probably see, my camera angle here wasn't ideal because Copper and Murphy caught a whole lot of rats out of screen here, which just didn't get to see, unfortunately. And in this instance, dogs is the best way to eradicate these rats because they can't be shot, they're too close to the livestock, it's too dangerous, they can't be poisoned, they've built up an immunity to the poison anyway, and they can't be trapped. Once these slats are lifted, they just bolt everywhere and the quickest way to red these rats up is with these dogs. You know, it's obvious. If, if you don't like this type of thing, I really can't understand why you're watching it. And I hope everybody has the common sense to realize why we can't have rats eating our livestock's food. Now, I hope you guys are all sitting comfortable for this because all hell is about to break loose. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Hey, drop them down. Drop them down. Go on, go on, go on, go on! Here, 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 here! Cover, cover! Come on! Come on! Cover, cover, cover! Right, go ahead! Cover! You're <laughs> rushing an arm one now! Here, here, here! Come on! Here, look, cover! Rush! Go on, ah, 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 ah. down. Go on. Right. Here, here, cover, cover, cover. Go on, go on. Good man. Cover here. Huh? Eh? Go on, go on. Here, here. All right, let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
see it. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Not bad. Aye, <laughs> 70. Plus the ones that maybe ran on and died elsewhere. Aye, well I think Rush nailed a few around the corner. Uh, I think Rush met and nailed a few around the corner. I was I was not there, but fuck me, I, I watched him lots of the screws that was going on. <laughs> right guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. So did Paul, so did the dogs. Well, these two dogs are dead anyway. The other dog got a bad well, nip in the mouth, um, which he wasn't impressed with. But we had 19 confirmed rats. There's probably a few more lying dead around there that we couldn't find in the muck. Um, hang around because I've got another another couple of shots coming up. You guys might be interested in seeing. Hope you enjoyed that anyway, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Huh? Not there, wasn't Jack? I am. No. I am a pipsqueak. Right, nice fuck now. Here we are, first kill for the Titan Hunter. Right guys, I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a like, drop me a comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. I've got loads more yet to come, so stay tuned.